Russia Today TV channel declares itself to be an international broadcaster. The sources of funding are not hidden. It's the federal budget of Russia. The stated goal of the channel, which broadcasts in Arabic, Spanish, English, German, is to create an alternative to reputable international news channels. In fact, it is just a mouthpiece of the Kremlin, and its task is to spread Kremlin propaganda narratives around the world, fake news about the war in Ukraine, and calls for the genocide of the Ukrainian people. Aggressive genocide incitement, which has nothing to do with freedom of speech, ban Russia Today worldwide. Dmitry Kuleba, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, on Twitter. Russia Today and Sputnik are an important part of Putin's disinformation campaign. Since 2015, the task force of the European External Action Service has been checking this media. The European Union imposed comprehensive sanctions against the Kremlin channels back in March. Restrictions concerned cable, satellite TV, websites and applications. The EU has suspended licenses and permits. But Russia today is trying to circumvent the sanctions. They create identical blocked platforms, instructions for circumventing the bans. And in Germany, for example, the blocking of banned website is completely on the conscience of Internet providers. They decide whether to block the channel or not. When they start to close down on one platform or another, they look for the new channels to circumvent these sanctions. They use all the opportunities provided by the democracy they are fighting so hard against. Russia today is aimed at the collapse of the European coalition in support of Ukraine. They are trying to introduce the thesis to their foreign audience as much as possible, at least that not everything is so simple. Content of Russia today continues to litter the information space of Europeans. Thus, according to the report of the British Institute for Strategic Dialogue, 19 platforms have generated more than 11 million visits in recent months. Russia today continues to lie, but in more windy way, putting narratives in quoting false statements or in the mouth of speakers. Russia today is not a media. Russia Today is not the media. This is a complete information weapon, and these are not just words, but a proven fact based on at least February 24, 2022. It doesn't shy away from any kind of manipulation ending with fabricated fakes. The Kremlin is trying to find any loopholes to spread its propaganda. Thus, a branch of Russia Today began broadcasting in Serbia, despite the fact that Serbia plans to become a member of the European Union. Ukraine urged Serbia to deny broadcasting to the Bureau. Russia today has nothing to do with freedom of speech and journalism. The propaganda and misinformation that this channel spreads will not benefit Serbian society. The Serbian government must also understand that at any moment Russia today can begin to undermine the situation in Serbia itself. Oleh Nikolenko, spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine on Facebook. British politician Philip Hammond has said that Russia today is far more inventive propaganda than what Russia creates for domestic audiences. At least more than 2,000 employees of the company around the world are not Russian journalists, but local ones. Ukraine calls on partner countries to impose other and more comprehensive sanctions against the Russian propaganda machine abroad and for people to turn off Russian resources without waiting for blocking from providers. Reported by Roman Smoller, Julia Bezborochko, UATV News.